Hey guys, welcome to Unravel Me. I'm Anna, and today I want to show you how to do the long-tailed cast on, but to make it very stretchy so that it can be used for the brim of a hat or cuffs or cuff down socks. So a lot of people love the long-tailed cast on, but they struggle with it because it doesn't seem to have very much give. And I struggled with this for a long time until I finally realized how you can make it a very lovely, very stretchy cast on method. All right, let's get started. Let's start with just our regular long-tailed cast on. So I have my tail end of yarn here and I am draping that tail end over the front of the needle the needle is in my right hand and the yarn that's going over the back here is attached to the ball. So I am going to take my index finger of my left hand and bring this tail end of yarn towards the back and take my thumb and come around the back of the ball end of yarn and bring it towards the front so it twists them on the needle just like that. And if you need to know how much yarn you need for your long tail cast on, just wrap the yarn around your needle for as many stitches as it tells you to cast on plus a little extra just to make sure you have enough. And especially when we do it stretchy like, you want to give it a decent amount of space between. So for the long tailed cast on, you're going to bring your thumb up and to the left. The needle is going to come in front of that yarn on your thumb and underneath it and through this loop that it's creating. So you have it twisted like this. You're going underneath the yarn, just the one strand, and now you're gonna bring your index finger towards you and grab a loop of yarn that's wrapped around your index finger. Drop the yarn from your thumb and pull that tight. That's one stitch. Let's take a look at that again. So now that we have that first stitch, the yarn is going to be hanging in the positions that you need to grab it from. So here you can now just put your index finger and thumb together, come between the two, spread them apart, and grab the two strands with the rest of your fingers. Just like that. Now bringing your thumb up so that you can come under the strand. It's going to create a loop and you're going to grab a strand of yarn from the yarn that's going over your index finger and pull that through the loop and bring it down. And that's the long tailed cast on. And as funny as it sounds, the trick to making it super stretchy is just not tightening each stitch up close to each other like that. You want space between each stitch. The first two are gonna be kind of close together, but every stitch thereafter, you want space. So coming down and I'm going to wait till it gets a good maybe stitch to stitch and a half length away from the previous one and then tighten it right there. And then to hold that you can kind of use your index finger on your right hand to hold the stitch while you make the next one. Pulling that through, giving it a little bit of space. And then you can slide that down to keep going. And 
and this will work no matter what needle size you're using what yarn size because it will work to a nice gauge for what you're using on your needles so as long as you have a good little bit of space between each stitch it will give you a nice stretchy cast on okay so I'm going to go ahead and work a few rows so that we can get some distance. I'm going to bind it off and then we can take a look at how stretchy this cast on is. Okay, so I've knit just a tiny little swatch and as you can see, it's about mm, one and three quarter inches. We can stretch it out to a total of three inches. That's about twice. It's a little less than twice as much. Or if you prefer centimeters, it's about four and a half centimeters from 10 to 18. So we can stretch it out eight centimeters. So very nice, very stretchy cast on. And it's fun because it's easy to count the amount of yarn that you're going to need and it's fun and simple to do with a beautiful cast on edge. Where is my telephoto when I need it? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just saw a wild owl for the first time in my entire life right in the grove behind me. And of course, I don't have my telephoto lens with me, so I tried snapping a photo We'll see how it turns out, but it was so cool. I've never seen one before. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and can now see why that if you're in need of a stretchy cast on, you can still go ahead and use the long tailed cast on. Just put a little bit of space in between those stitches and you're good to go. All right, can't wait to see you guys next time. Mwah.